I'm going to show you how to set up your new school year in planbook.com. The first time you sign in, you should get this pop-up in the middle of your screen asking you to create a new school year. Click the Add a School Year. This will bring up what you want to name it, and I'll call this my 2019-2020 school year. Our first day of school will be September 3rd. Our last day will jump all the way to June 11th. And then if you had a previous existing plan book, all of the classes that you had set up before will pop up. So you can choose which ones you want to bring over to your new plan book or which ones you don't. If you click the continue button, it'll give you options of what do you want to copy in. You may want to copy the days of all your classes, the times, your lessons, anything that you want to bring over. The one thing I would recommend is not taking the lessons over because you don't actually want your plans from the year before coming over. Um, I know some people bring over last year's plan book and they can keep themselves to that. I'm not one that can go on what I did last year for this year. So you'll click continue. Here's where you can import all of the national holidays. We don't get Martin Luther King Day off. We get Memorial Day, New Year's Day, Thanksgiving Day. We don't get Veterans Day off. So I would uncheck the ones that we don't get off. You can enter in your dates for your breaks. We should be having, starts on the 21st for Christmas break, and we would end on the 5th. Spring date would be April 3rd. And then that goes until the 12th. And you could add any of the other dates that you know that we have off. Click Add School Year. So I'm going to have my class days, my times, my templates, everything coming over except lessons for me. I do not want all of my lessons coming over. I can always go back to last year's calendar and see what I did, but I don't want this year's calendar having all of last year's lessons already put in. So I'll click the continue button. And then here will be my brand new calendar, my brand new plan book. It takes about a minute to go. And as you see up here in the top left corner, there's my new school year. These were all my templates that came over, but my lesson plans did not. So that's how I would do it, unless you're one that can use last year's lesson plans for this year. So all my templates came over, all my classes came over, and then I'm ready to go. There you go.